open your browser and search for Google Analytics SDK it will provide you first link which is developers.google.com slash analytics click on that when you going to click on that then it will shows the two options first configuration for objective C and another for Swift so I'm going to implement that configuration with the Swift language so I'm going to check out Swift language over here now in that tutorial it's showing that you need to use coca ports but for your information I am going to implement that without using coca ports so let's check how we can implement that without using coca ports so first of all what you need to do just click on get a configuration file for your analytics it will take to you Google developers website and it will take some time for opening that so first of all just give your application name ok I'm just copying it from here Google Analytics test ok ok to your iOS bundle click on Xcode and copy that and open your browser paste over here ok so choose your reason I'm from India ok and click on continue it will take to you on another page it will take some time to be complete now it has been complete now choose over here what you have to implement I need to implement analytics in my application so click on analytics I'm going to create new account for that okay uh, India this is all the your predefined account okay but I am going to create a new account for that okay and agree enable analytics service okay generate your configuration file download ok now my file has been download now I am going to show that file in finder ok now I have my google analytics file in my hand before that I need to download Google Analytics SDK type over here Google Analytics SDK okay so click on that and sheet Get the mobile application configuration option and feature. Click on Google Analytics Service SDK. Click on Download SDK. Now, click on this version. This is latest one. Okay, and download that. It will take some time to be complete that process. Till then, have a cup of coffee. Okay, now it has been downloaded. Okay, can you see that? This is that the file which we have to download. Okay, so click on that, click on your Xcode project, go to your click on new. Okay. I'm going to create a new group over here 
you should be name analytics go to your sources build phase cancel yeah drop and drag over here copy create okay just leave leave that as it is click on finish okay and over here what you need to do just click on that and didn't get any mistake in that click on add okay and now all file has been added successfully in your first of all what you have to do before doing that you need to implement some library in that so let's just start what library you have to use in that I'm going to tell you one by one what you have to do in that so drag and drop your info list okay let's go testing google analytics where was that okay that was in my this one now i'm going to implement that file just remove that okay this one replace okay now my file has been replaced mm. now what you have to do just close that and drag and drop in your main project create to finish it's automatically rendered over here so don't need to do with that any with that anything okay now what you have to do just click on that you need to add some file in that which is come in your analytics SDK so click on add other from here analytics services first one this one open okay now what you have to do just uh, you need to add five elements in that one is live google and analytics service which we have already added in that another is library sqlite 3 dot dylb file another is lives dylb second one is system configuration dot framework these two framework we have to use in the and these are two files three files which we need to use that these files come with the stick and these two files we need to add from our xcode directory so let's start with that just click on that add other and press command shift g it will provide you a window type in that slash usr slash lyb you can see and click on go it will provide you all the file search over here for the file name for the file name library sqlite 3 library sqlite 3 this one click on open it has been and another we have to repeat that process for the second file command shift g click on go leaves dot this one okay so click on open so we have already edited now what do you need to add you need to add system configuration type over here system this one click on add now another is core data 
the format so we have finally added all these things in our code now what you need to do you need to create a bridge in your application so that you can connect your dot h files with your swift codes so let's create a bridge in your application right click click on new file create header click on next create so it will create a bridge header in your file okay for further click on your xcode project search for swift compiler click on that that should be before creating that should be like that now double click on that and type that line in that okay give your project the bridge header address over here okay now cut all these and paste these three lines in that okay so that it will get easy to use for you control s you need to note down your analytics tracking id for that okay i'm noting it over here so that I can use that in my code okay now this is the code which you have to code in your app delegates file so just open your app delegate in my Okay, now copy that second line which will define the page on which page your user currently is working. Okay this is for registration of google analytics with your application give your analytics like let's see what it's what what does it say saying let's see okay okay so hmm. okay let's try to launch our application on simulator first then i will launch that application on my iphone let's get launch google analytics site Type over here. And now wait it. Choose over here your application as I have three applications before that. So I'm going to choose my analytics app. Click on that and click on that. So you will get complete view for your application now checking out uh, our analytics uh, code is working or not check your real time it will update automatically every after every one second one minute so click on overview see it's saying that analytics test on which screen we have used analytics test if we have two or three screens and then we can provide that screen name or wo whatever we want to identify by that text we can provide that text in that field okay so 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दैट वीडियो आई होप दैट यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट बेटर हाउ यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट गूगल एनालिटिक्स इन योर आई फोन एप्लीकेशन विदाउट यूजिंग कोका पैड्स सो दैट इज़ वेरी सिंपल वे टू डू इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू जस्ट डू कमेंट इन योर कमेंट बॉक्स सो दैट आई कैन रिप्लाई योर क्वेश्चन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय बाय सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो